this item I've received. It looks like this is a smallish, probably eyepiece. Yeah, what it can be. Let's open it. Okay, let's see what is this. I'm not sure now what is this. Don't remember it. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That's a camera holder uh, for using on the um, eyepiece on a telescope. It's quite heavy, metallic. <laughs> Let's open and see. This is quite heavy item. Probably around yeah, 200, 300 grams. Looks sturdy. You put the camera here, any camera, or if you have a bracket, attach the camera to a bracket and put it on this. Then uh, the camera facing downward, this will be holding the eyepiece. So I'm just experimenting just to see how it is. I, f I think in the past these things were expensive. Nowadays probably they're, they're not that expensive. And the good thing is that you can use it with any kind of camera, not just mobile phone or DSLR. And any kind of you know, compact camera, you know, uh, small ones uh, that everybody now has. You can buy for five pounds, ten pounds almost now. And this thing is cost me around twelve pounds. So let's see how it will be when I make a video about how it is on the actual. Uh, telescope eyepiece looks uh, strong, quite heavy. Uh, every piece of it is metal except this part. Uh, this part, which is doesn't look like metal, it's plastic. Let me turn on the flash here so you can see. Yeah, this part I'm talking about, this is not metal, this is plastic, and the rest of it is metal. The knobs also are yeah, plastic. But uh, the main shaft, which is here, is metal. The, this part, which holds the eyepiece, uh, looks kind of metallic or very light uh, aluminium thing or even plastic. And it has a rubber here that holds the eyepiece safely without scratching it. And yeah, let's see how it will be when we test it. You can see I have now uh, used this uh, bracket camera bracket with my mobile phone and I'm focusing uh, and looking at the different things in the garden so I'm bringing to focus different objects I'm out of focus now I'm on in the focus let me turn it toward the little bit toward the different position as you can see you can easily see the whole field of view I hope you can notice that. I can see the whole field of view. Let me just put it here. I think this is easier than the other one that I had. Okay, I have seen some flowers here, which I will try to capture uh, in focus. I can even zoom with my hands, you know, I don't need to zoom uh, with anything else but just my hands and the camera because it's a practically mobile phone camera. And let me see a little bit higher in the sky. Okay, that's a good shot of a few flowers which are not opened. So I'm trying to focus on them. Let me exit the, yeah, reduce the zoom. Okay, I'm go now going to the sky just to see if I can focus on any purple fringing. Mm. You be the judge. Do you see any purple fringing? I go out of the focus. Out of the focus. This is a sky watcher, by the way. It, it was, uh, was Star Travel. 
80 millimeter. So it practically has a good amount of the aberration. But with this image, you can see that there is not much actually purple fringing. Uh, when you see a dark object like this branch against the brightness of the sky, you should see the purple in fringing at least out of the focus. And I don't see any of that. So, this camera does really well. And, uh, and the mount, of course. I can move the field of view slightly just to see what can I achieve. Let me see, let me try this. Okay, I'm moving now. As you see, I'm moving over the, hovering over the uh, telescope eyepiece. And I can move in this other direction by turning this one. As you can see. I think this mount is really, this uh, camera mount is really good. Works really well with my mobile phone, although the pressing of the camera bracket is actually on the on off button but it does well i'm focusing and i'm going out of focus again so let me see a few of these flowers have to keep the focus on them yeah those were are not opened I shift the image okay there is at the center a few nice flowers they're not opened but i'm using a dobsonian mount which is for the skywatcher virtuoso uh, uh, four inch one as you can see it works really well when i'm zooming i can actually have the full full frame picture so i suppose if it was the moon i could actually zoom as if i was zooming on the craters just at the very high um, focus, high, high uh, magnification with the camera digital, uh, digital uh, magnifying, I can see some tiny red bits, I'm not sure, around the flowers in the lower part of the image. Or if you're looking like that, it's probably the right of the image, around the flowers. That's, but beyond that, when you are in the normal zoom, you don't see that, you don't notice that at all. So this this is really good. This is really good. This is what I want. And this is the camera setup. Uh, adapter, the eyepiece. As you can see, that's the flower we were looking at. And this is the telescope, the Skywatcher telescope. So all the setting works on this. Brilliant. And this is, of course, the sky watch we chose. So, this Newtonian. This Newtonian. This is the stand for this. So, works well. Okay, as you can see, I just loosen up this. And it, uh, the whole thing comes up the eyepiece. The whole weight is on this uh, ball bearing here. And with the friction it works, of course. You can use it with any other method if you have a German equatorial mount or anything. The same thing applies here, it just works. And uh, yeah, good overall picture and video capturing system. I like it. Okay, now I have modified my um, Meet ETX. Uh, uh, one two five to accept.
so I think I will use the max here. Like this. It goes better, gives a better result. It looks heavier.